And welcome back. It has been a warm and humid day across the viewing area. 97 degrees here at Meridian. 67 was our low this morning. Of course, we were above average. Didn't set our record, but we were near it. 99, so back in 2011. No precipitation. We're still 7 inches above where we should be for this time of year. And unfortunately, uh, we're going to add to that as we go on throughout the week. 68 degrees for tonight. Clear to partly cloudy skies. Those winds pretty calm out of the north-northwest. For your Tuesday, still going to be humid and hot. We will get a break from this heat, but it's going to take it several days before we can finally get a cold front rolling on through. As temperatures tomorrow are looking to top out in the mid to upper 90s, those winds will pick up a little bit, still 5 10 miles per hour out of the south southwest. So they're going to be sh uh, shifting a little bit as they go on throughout the day. And overall, just going to be a warm one. Past several hours on radar, not a lot going on. We've had a few little blips show up to the west, some clouds moving on in. Again, this is really nothing that's really going to impact us. We're mainly watching down to the south. Now, this is an invest that's before a tropical depression, so it basically is, it has a number and a letter to it. So, for instance, invest 94L. That Actually, I don't really remember what this one is, but we're watching this down here. It could become a tropical depression. It has about a 60% chance of doing that. It's going to move back to the north. There's actually a high pressure sitting over the Gulf of Mexico that's kind of keeping this at bay. Remember, lows and highs don't attract to each other. Once this kind of gets around it, it's going to move on up towards us, towards Louisiana and Mississippi, mainly bring with it the moisture. And in the same time, we're watching a low that's actually out here. And you can't see right now, but you can see the southwesterly flow on the eastern side of it. So it's right about here in the portions of California and Arizona. As that moves on off to the east, these two could sync up and we could get some showers and thunderstorms. Or it's a very, very likely chance, I should say, that we're going to get some showers and thunderstorms and quite a bit of rain out of this. I think flash flooding is going to be a concern, unfortunately, with this next batch of showers. So future radar tonight. Not really showing anything, maybe a few blips. That is about it. Most of it will stay on off to our north for your Tuesday as well. A chance as a little boundary moves on through. This is a little bit of a front going into Wednesday that we do have enough moisture to get some showers out of it. But our best chance, again, is going to be later this week. And our rainfall potential right now, yeah, two to four inches. Now, that's pretty wide range. You can see we have a bunch of different colors over, over the viewing area. So, again, right now, just know that we are looking at a good amount of rain. Showers and thunderstorms along with this, and it's going to be an extended period of time for this, so several days with chances for showers and thunderstorms, albeit as we go into really Friday, that's our best chance, but even into the weekend, we do have some slight chances for some more showers as well. So here we go for your Tuesday, 95 degrees, 92 for your Wednesday, and then that cold front rolls on through, drops us to the lower 80. So below average for your Thursday, starting Thursday evening into your Friday is our best chance for showers and thunderstorms. Again, quite a bit of rain is looking to fall. We stay below average or right around average for Saturday and Sunday, and then we finally maybe get some sunshine back in here for Monday of next week.